How's it going everybody? Tonight we are going to look at update 60406 and 07 of Greg Tech. And the 07 is a little bug fix add-on thing. The main thing that it adds other than the little bug fix is ironwood barrels and item fluid barrels and item barrels. This is what they look like. They are fireproof. So we will look up ironwood here. I'll show you how they're made. So there's the item barrel. You got your ironwood plates and two long steel rods, chest, hammer and saw like before. And then you have your regular fluid barrel, which is the same thing, but you got glue. And they are the same size, if I remember correctly, as the regular wood. Uh, they're just fireproof, unlike the regular wood ones. And they work all the same way. Auto output if you hit them with a wrench. And same with them. They will output their stuff to the bottom if you hit them with a wrench. Things like that. No big change same as any other mass storage um, sodium per sulfite was missing in the electrolyzer that was fixed in 07 as well might as well get this all out of the way so sodium per sulfite is the blue one here and this is the sodium bisulfite, which makes sodium persulfite and hydrogen. This is what you get from aqua regia. Or you can actually put sodium sulfite in sulfuric acid and make sodium, sodium, sodium bisulfite. But if I remember correctly, that's what you get. Yeah, there it is. You put salt and sulfuric acid, you get sodium bisulfite and hydrochloric acid. And this is how you make your aqua regia. So this is how I usually get the sodium bisulfite. Somehow apparently that recipe had came up missing because it used to be there. Uh, the other thing was you can put fluids into a cauldron or a crucible. Let me go grab a bucket of water here and I'll show this to you. So you can pull fluids in and take fluids out of a cauldron now with a bucket if it's a bucketable recipe and the bucket won't melt down and uh, measuring pots. So this is going to possibly make it easier to do uh, titanium which might actually be able to give us a way of making titanium neodymium titanium before tungsten to make that as the third crucible and we are going to be trying that in the live stream but you can see you can put water in and because I had an extra bucket it stacked and if we go ahead and put this back in again and I come over here and grab the measuring pot. <clears throat> you can see that you can also get it out. The problem was that the temperature setting for these was not low enough for some biomes. So that's what the fix was for. And then you can also put that right back in. Uh, you can also use them on funnels to put them in other things so what I'm thinking is we might be able to what we're going to try is if you look at root tile here you can melt this down in a smelter or a crucible which is what I want to do is melt it in the crucible which will make you root tile ingots from there but I want the liquid at 2041 if this measuring pot will handle that 
which it should, if it goes up high enough, if it has like the uh, overheating of the crucible themselves, uh, it does say melt at 2000, so it may not work. And iron is obviously 1811, so that's sure as heck not going to work. But we're going to give it a try. But then we should be able to, if it works, put that into a mixer with the sodium to make the titanium. And then we can pour that into a uh, mold, make titanium ingots and then put that into there to make niobium titanium alloy well, like I said no guarantee this is going to work we will try it out in the stream sometime this week uh, let's see all right so the update for 06 there's a warning do not attempt to put a Greg Tech barrel or drum into a rail craft tank to fill or empty it if you do, you need to go into the forge config and set the delete erring tile entities to true before restarting the game or server. Um, this is definitely a no-no. It will crash your server and you will not be able to get back in because it will still be erring every time you get in. Um, he did change. It will be the next thing here where you cannot click them onto railcraft uh, tanks anymore. You used to be able to, and it would air you out the same way, but it wouldn't air out the tank completely. Um, improved code improvements regarding automated fluid creation. So, oh, wait a minute. I guess that ain't the next one. So that I don't need to bother creating textures for each fluid. And so that molten metals now have a proper lava-alike texture. Yeah, that took up all Wednesday. So you'll notice after this update that like steel will look almost like a ceramic uh, molten. Instead of the silverish gray color it was before. And I'm sure there's others that have changed as well. Uh, but when stuff's hot, it should be a, a pinkish beige kind of color, I guess. Orangish, maybe. Um, here it is. Fixed right-clicking Railcraft tanks with the Greg Tech stuff causing a crash. Because Railcraft doesn't release the bug fix update. They already coded in May of 2016. Seriously, you already did it. Why don't you release it? You are holding Railcraft hostage right now. So that's why I was talking about where you can't actually click it anymore. I've crashed the server a couple times now doing that on accident. You could do it with filters and barrels and all that kind of stuff and it would crash. So he blocked it so you cannot do that anymore, which is nice. Um, fixed biomes of plenty, shrubs and grass-like stuff uh, to actually be cut with a knife sword or sigh and give you the grass that you would get from it in regular cutting of grass in regular biomes and he also ender amethyst is now or dictionary properly from biomes of plenty um, he fixed the immersive engineering hammer was still able to make plates and to make dust so that is no longer possible if we hit you here you can see that it's now got a recycling recipe so it shows that it's made of wood so you could technically use it as fuel but you can also get the two iron out of them you can put them in a crucible a shredder and there is no crafting recipes and he says that you can still make it because you need it for multi-blocks. Um, since I know it's needed for its multi-blocks, I only removed all the shapeless recipes using the hammer. I uh, changed. You can no longer right-click 
boilers with a bucket. Um, I showed this. Let me see if I can find my funnel. Showed this in a stream a few days ago. You actually can put a funnel right on the side of... Um, where did she put her funnel? Sneak into crazies here. Shh, nobody tell her. Um, since we have the funnels now, you don't need to be able to do the bucket thing. So now you can do the funnel thing. And I borrowed her funnel earlier and probably forgot to give it back. And now I don't know where it is. But we can make another one pretty easily. Junior should have some uh, ceramic over here. Some hardened clay. He's got a faucet. That ain't helping me any though. Is it in his table? Hey, it's in his table. Alright, so... Probably ought to look up a funnel because it's been a while since I made one. All right, funnel is just regular hammer and chisel. Chisel, obsidian hammer, funnel. So, if we come in here, now I can't actually put anything in these boilers because they're actually uh, full on water now. But they're not clickable. You see how the bucket's not trying to click on them. But you can put the funnel right like that. It connects up nicely. And then you can click the funnel to put your water in there if you choose to uh, fill it with water rather than going straight for the dryer to make um, distilled water. Uh, let's see. No longer right click boilers with a bucket to fill them with water. Instead, need to use a fluid funnel. That has been added a few versions prior. The funnel already works on the boilers in versions before this one. So you can set it up already. And you cannot use a funnel on a pipe to a boiler. That definitely does not work. I tried that out in the live stream this week. Uh, change some recipes that require blocks of ingots. Now require solid blocks since the basin is a thing now. This also applies to some railcraft and applied energistic stuff. Uh, I don't know what all he changed. I do know he was talking about changing the applied energistics uh, recipes. Okay, see the right there's one, the iron boar head. This used to use a block of ingots. Now it uses a solid block of iron. The press uses a block of solid iron with the inscribers instead of a block of ingots. Um, this was already this way for making a shaft of iron. And then that looks like it. So unless there's something I missed in there, uh, that's what you got. So your bore head and your... AE2 stuff in the press is what was changed. Um, the clear glass now requires some chemistry to be produced. And that is the Greg Tech gla glass. Spell properly here. Um, see if I can get to it through all this multi block crap I need to get rid of. And that's the chisel stuff. There it is. There's the Greg stuff. So black glass, as always, you can put two of them together to make one. Or you mix sodium sulfite with liquid glass and that makes your glass. Now you can also color them with the chemical dyes as you can see there. Uh, liquid glass, you just put glass in a smelter, and you get your liquid glass. Um, glass is actually only 1,200 degrees, so you should 
be able to actually do this in a mixer with a uh, measuring pot. You should be able to pull this out with a measuring pot from a crucible and might even be able to do it in a measuring bowl. Um, unfortunately, I don't have the sodium bisulfite because I don't have the uh, sulfuric acid yet um, to give it a try, but I will definitely try that out as soon as we get to that point. If anybody tries that out beforehand and finds out, let me know. But that definitely should work. Um, glass was a simple fluid there, so that should definitely be able to be put into the mixing bowl. It's not a gas or anything. It's only a liquid. So that's how you make your Greg Tech colored glass now. Uh, chemistry related stuff for a bit more IHL compact. This triggered some improvements mentioned above. And added crucible can now be emptied and filled using buckets and other fluid containers such as measuring pot, for example. Which I already showed. So, there you go. That's your update for 6 and 7. I don't believe there was anything else I found this week that needed to be mentioned. I think I already mentioned that I missed vanadium steel last week. Um, it is definitely now a thing. It is awesome. I will show it again just to make sure because I'm so glad we have it. Uh, this happened when he put out the nerf for, um, on how you make vanadium now. But you just mix your steel four to one with vanadium. You get vanadium steel. And you will notice that the tools are level 3 at 512 durability. So it's a nice way to get your steel up a mining level. And also make it last a little bit longer because you have uh, 4 to 1 instead of straight 4. I'm checking Greg's uh, Patreon post real quick just to make sure there wasn't something in there that I didn't see. And da -da -da -da. Oh yeah, that's where he was talking about the vanadium steel that I missed last time. Yeah, the crucible's working on the multiple things. I did find something that needs to be fixed in if you're playing with IHL and uh, Greg Tech. It's a IHL side bug. Um, you can put uh, tree sap in here, but it does not work. The rubber tree sap, he has a power rating for it which makes it undoable because you can't put power into a coagulator so definitely do not try this it does not work if it gets fixed I will let you know um, the rubber tree sap should actually be either put into the IHO evaporator or I think Greg is going to add a centrifuging recipe for it eventually like what we had in GT5. Um, so for right now, if you're using the tree sap collection bags, make sure you don't click them onto uh, the coagulator with a funnel, or you will also lose your bucket. I haven't tested it since the new IHL, but last time I did definitely lose my bucket, and it'll clog up your coagulator and not do anything. Uh, but that is all I have this week. So, as usual, leave your comments, your questions, and I will answer them to my best of the best of my ability. Or I will let Greg know, and he will answer them, and I will let you know what he says. You can also go and ask him directly at his IRC, Greg Tech, 
uh, channel or on his Greg Tech to Web Lament IRC channel. So other than that, have a great one, and we will see you later.